Until we discover, we cannot possess it. For Deuteronomy 29, 29 says, He said, the hidden things, or the secret things, belongs to God. But the one God has revealed, belongs to us. In other words, what you and I can discover, in God is what belongs to you. But that which is hidden, it is hidden. It belongs to God. So it is you and me and you and me. It should be our determination to discover, to get into the word, to get into the word, to open up our hearts and not listen to the news and spend our time listening to the news. I'm not saying don't listen to the news, but what I am saying is that don't spend your time don't spend most time in the news. But get yourself into the word. For it is time for prayer. It is time for our uplifting. Everything may look bleak. Job situation. Economic situation. But our God is faithful. Our God is faithful. He shall perform what he says he will do. God will never promise. He doesn't take his promise as a joke. He does not joke the way we joke. He does not speak the way we speak. Everything he says, he means it. He is faithful and he will deliver you and me from all evil. Listen to what David said in Psalm 63. From verse number one, he said, Oh God, you are my God. Only would I seek you, my soul, test for you, my, my, my flesh, long for you in a dry and testy land. Can, can you imagine? We are in a dry and testy situation. But David was not looking for food. He was not worried about what to eat to, today or tomorrow. David understood that his God is, is a provider. That he said, I have been young and now I am old. I have never seen the righteous forsaken nor his children begging for bread. Nobody listening to me will ever beg for bread. You will not be forsaken. Your children will never live to beg for bread. It is time for your upliftment. He said, he said, where there is no water, that was so the source of life has been cut off. The land is not producing. But David is saying, You are my God. Can you say the same with David? Can you agree with him? He said, Early would I seek you. Not early would I seek for food. But early would I seek for God. Why? 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 All the, the earth is not producing. The water is, has, is cut off. But God is my source. I am testing. But it is God who said, Come buy. Don't buy with money. Come buy. Quite your test. Our Lord will satisfy everyone. He said, So I look for you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory because your loving kindness is better than life. My lips shall praise you. Thus, I will bless you Why I live. I will lift up my hands in your name my soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and, and fatness and my mouth shall praise you with joyful lips. lips. So David understood that it is God who is the source of his supply. And today, 
I want you to understand that as David understood your source of supply your help for tomorrow is not going to come from anywhere. It's going to come from the Lord. And God by his mercies knew that today a time like this will come. And because there will be, it will be a perilous time. So he provided himself through his word. Brother and my sister, wherever you are, I want you to know and to understand understand that the source of your help it's not going to come from anywhere. It's not going to come from anywhere. But from the word of the, of the Lord. You better get yourself. You better get yourself. And begin to believe the word of God. Begin to believe the word of God. For in the word. Is the source of your life. Listen to what Apostle Paul said. In Acts chapter number 20. And verse number 32. When he was parting company, he said unto them, Brethren, you now, brethren, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace. I commend you to God and to the word of his grace. He said, which is able to build you up and give you an inheritance among all them which are sanctified. So every sanctified, every, every believer has a blessing. You have an inheritance. But the inheritance are embedded in the word. Until you discover you may not have it until you discover you may not have it until you discover you may not have it let's look at second peter chapter one verse number three second peter chapter number one verse number three second peter chapter number one verse number three he said as his divine power has given us all things that pertain to life and godliness. All things. His divine power has given us all things. The all things you are looking for. All things that you are looking for. The all things that you are looking for. For life and for godliness are embedded in your knowledge of him that has called us not unto shame but unto glory and unto virtue from today you are going higher from today you are possessing your possession you are rising up Everybody will be going down. But you will rise up. The stories of others are not your story. Don't join them. Because you are different. You are sanctified. And as you have been sanctified, the divine power of God is able to give you all things. Healing. Deliverance. Protection. Whatever you are looking for, whatever you are looking for, the, the word of God says, thousand will fall by your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but he shall not come near you. He said, With your eyes, sir, you shall behold the punishment of the wicked. I announce to you that thousand will fall, it is a pity. But as for you, it shall not come near you. Oh, are you here with me? Oh, Are you here with me? 
in the name of the Lord Jesus. It is the word of God. His divine power. His divine power. When you get to know him. You receive the power. To get all things. And all things will be at your disposal. I pray for you. It is time the husbands. You will stand to plead the blood. We cannot gather ourselves as before. But whatever you have learned. It is now time to exercise the faith. Cover your house with the blood. Anoint your family. Anoint your family. It is now your responsibility. Whatever you have learned. Whatever you have learned. It is time to exercise it. May the grace of God be upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus. The all things are. The all things are. You will find yourself in abundance. Oh, the God who told Israel that you are going with your gold and with your silver. The God who supplies, who can divide water. 
Hey, that God is your God. He will supply you. That which eyes have not seen. Nor ye heard. Peter said, I have not seen some before. Me who be there? But I will cast it. Because you said it. Anyone who hold on to the word of God. Your story will be different. 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 From today. Your story will be different. Your story will be different. In the name of Jesus. Because the word of God came true for you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. How can I know the hidden things? And no more These blessings are secret. When we talk about healing, you have to find it. I was I was telling some people, some people in Ghana. I said we better now start doing topical studies. Topical. So because sometimes sometimes sometimes. sometimes uh, You'll be searching for. Sometimes you'll be searching for. Uh, you'll be reading the Bible. Uh, sometimes you'll find it difficult to search. But when you begin to do topical studies. Financial breakthrough. You cannot pray it into being. You have to discover it. Before you pray. Healing. You cannot pray it. He said, my, my word is, is held to your flesh and to your bones. Proverbs chapter, two, chapter 4, verse chapter four, verse number 20. Hallelujah. Amen. So many things, even in marriage, you have to discover. When you discover the word of God and you decide to obey it, you find healing. You find healing. You will find healing. I pray for you. Amen. That may you discover whatever you are looking for. Whatever you are looking for. The moment Peter heard the voice. Peter, he said at your word. And then there was a miracle. It's a journey I said. And I want us to start from somewhere. We, we might not finish today. Hallelujah. Amen. But we want to look. At the way God sees you. If you don't know. Who you are. By the word of God. You will live anyhow. You will walk anyhow. You will talk anyhow. We talk about so. As for me, I'm flesh and blood. I'm the That is not the truth. That is not your status. Jesus did not say that. Yes, He said that which is born of the flesh is flesh. That which is born of spirit is, is spirit. That which is born of the spirit is spirit. And when I when I meditated upon this word. And I look at the one who is saying it. And I look at his lifestyle. And I compare it to mine. I discover that is the way is too big. But you see, as I was coming back to meditation on those words, I discover it by a proverb in our in our language. That when a naked person promise you promise you a suit look at him look at him when a naked man when a naked man when a naked man is telling you I am promising you three pieces of suit you look at him and then you hold to the promise now so the one who is saying <laughs> that which is born of spirit is spirit. Yeah. That one was not born according to the flesh. Yeah. According to the normal way. Yeah. He was not born that way. Yeah. He was born of the spirit. Yeah. For the angel said the spirit of the Lord yeah. will come upon you. Yeah. The, the power of the most high who overshadow you that which you will be conceived of shall be called holy. So I look at it carefully and I discover that the man knows what he's talking about. You remember when he told Nicodemus how can this be? And he said, I'm, talk, I'm telling you said something I know and you do not believe it. 
I'm talking to you about something I know. That in heaven, this is the way we see everybody. Those who are born of spirit, is spirit. But that which is born of the flesh, is flesh. My God. My God. And it led me to Psalm 82. From verse number 5. Psalm 82, verse number 5. My God. Psalm 82, verse number 5. Psalm number 82. From verse number 5. My God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want you to open it so that we, we read it together. So before you start saying. That I am blaspheming. If I'm blaspheming. If anyone is blaspheming here, then it is God. Are you here at all? Are you here? Are you here? Okay, let's go. From verse number five. From verse number five. No, we can even start from verse number one. It says, For God stands in the congregation of the mighty, He judges among the gods. How long would you judge unjustly and, and show partiality to the wicked? Defend the poor and, 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 and fatherless. Do justice to the afflicted and needy. Deliver the, the poor and needy. Free them from the, from the hand of the wicked. Verse 25. This is what I want us to do. He said, they do not know. They do not know. Neither will they understand. And then he said they walk in darkness. He said they walk in darkness. All the foundation of the earth are out of course. And then I look at Psalm 11, verse number 3. He said, When the foundations be destroyed, what, what can the righteous do? So when the foundation is not correct, you may be born again. You may be born again, but you can do nothing. God is saying, they walk in darkness. They don't understand. They don't know. My God. What is making them walk in darkness? It is because they don't know. They don't understand. The good news says they are, they are foolish. They are stupid. They don't know. And they are stupid. Ah, my God. Hallelujah. Amen. So what 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 is God saying that we don't know that makes us to uh, to be stupid? And I look at the verse number six. It, and God said, "For I said, not for for is not there." He said, "I said, you are God's, and all of you are children of the Most High." Verse seven. But you shall die like like men. And, and, and fall like one of the princes. I'm not sure what he said. For money. Ha. You remember Jesus also repeated this to the Pharisees. Yes, so, so, I can reach the Pharisees. He said, God said, you are God's. And scripture cannot be broken. So scripture cannot be broken. The Lord is saying, because we don't understand this, that is why we walk in darkness. That is why we walk in fear. That is, that is why we walk in fear. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you don't understand what God is saying concerning you, if you don't understand what God has for you, you cannot fight for it. You cannot fight for it. And if you cannot fight for it, although it belongs to you, you cannot have it. He said you are God. He says you are God. But why are we in this situation? Why are we in this situation? When, when you don't understand this, you walk in darkness. You walk in darkness. Darkness cover the earth. There's, there's, the enemy's agenda is to cover. Bible says the devil himself is in charge of blinding the mind of those who do not believe. So that we cannot believe. I am not the one saying this. One. Jesus also said it. Hallelujah. So if God, if God, if God, it's not saying the truth. So one cannot credit. Then 
than me too. I'm not saying the truth. And amen, so me cannot create. If God told Adam, the day you touch it, you die. Or see, or catch that. I know. The, 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 the day you eat it, not the touch it. Or see, Adam will be die. You die. Will be. If Adam did not die, the Adam will move. Then God is a liar. But if Adam died Adam and was separated from God and the, the, the relationship was separated then God word is true. I am not the one blaspheming. It is God who is, bla it is God who is blaspheming. If it is not true I am I, I, I am an unapologetic Christian. I, I talk about the word. So, so if God is lying then me too, I am lying. But if God cannot lie, if he cannot lie, if he is not the son of man, if he is not like you and me, that can lie, then I have good news for you. God is saying, you are God. You are God. You are God. But how can I know the darkness over your life must go away? Light must come. How do I know? Light must come. How can light come? Psalm 119. Verse 130. Hallelujah. Your word is light. So if light can come, and I will understand who I am, it comes by the word of God. It must come by the word of God. It must come by the word of God. The more word I have, the more I load myself. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Light will come. Light will come. The great promises he has given unto us. He has given us great promises. Second Peter chapter 1 verse number 4. We have great promises. We have great promises. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 4. We have great promises. These words are true. They cannot lie. They cannot lie. They cannot lie. He said, by which have been given to us exceeding great and precious promises that through this we may be partakers of divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world. Oh, precious one, the word of God is what enhances our divine nature. If you want to walk as Jesus walked, it will take the word of God. The word of God is what we need today. Everything will pass away. Prophecies will pass. Healings will pass. Everything will pass. The word will never pass away. Will never pass away. I, 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 I want to assure you that if you agree with me so that we take this journey together your life will never be the same Jesus said in Matthew chapter 28 verse number is it verse number 18 or verse number 20 rather verse number 20 Matthew chapter 20 verse number 20 he said, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always. Even to the end of age. Listen, God is with you. In this trouble time, it is not the time for God to disappoint you. He is with you. You better believe that he is with you. It's better you understand that he is with you. You better receive that he is with you. Forget about the things that are troubling you. Forget about the devil that is chasing you. I am not saying behave uh, disorderly. What I am saying is that follow instructions. Especially these days, we say Corona virus. <laughs> I hope today I, I got it right. Corona virus. Corona virus. <laughs> In days like this, <laughs> follow instructions. <laughs> follow instructions. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. This is not the first time God is keeping His people away. <laughs> but I want you to understand. 
follow, follow instructions. But if you have to go out, go out. Nothing shall by enemies at you. Our God will keep you. Build up your faith. Pray. Go into the word. It's not the time for party. It's not the time for you to drink. Don't join them. It is time for prayer. It is time for sanctification. Get to know God. Know him. If you have never known him, then I want to introduce him to you. Wherever you are. If you don't know Jesus, all that I've been saying, you cannot, you cannot partake of them. They are not yours. The things will not fall. The lines will not fall in pleasant places for you. The good heritage, you may not have it. You have to have Jesus. He's your Lord and Savior. He's the only one that can say boldly. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father. There is no way you can know the Father. Except through Jesus. Except through Jesus. You better believe it. So if you don't know him, I want you to bow down your head. And I want you to say this after me. Lift up your hands wherever you are. Yes, yes, in your bedroom. In your hall. He, he is there. He is there. As long as his word is there. He is there. And say this after me. Lord Jesus. I acknowledge my sins. I know I am a sinner. And I cannot save myself. Therefore. I lift my hands unto you. And I surrender. Unto you. And I ask that save me, Lord. Deliver me. Save me. Save me. Save me. For your word says, those that call upon your name, they shall be saved. Even those who believe in your name. Therefore, Lord, today, I accept you as my Lord. And personal savior, save me. Wash me with your blood. Cleanse me, oh Lord. Deliver me from the works of the enemy. In Jesus' mighty name. Lift up your hand, let me pray for you. Lord Jesus, your word is true. As many as believe in you, to them you give power to become the sons of God. Today, Wherever your people have lifted their hands and submitted themselves unto you, heal them. Amen. Deliver them. Amen. Visit them. Amen. Let them know you. Amen. Wash them with the blood. Amen. And deliver them. Amen. In these perilous times. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. You are now born again. Yes. You are a yeah, child of God. Rejoice. Amen. He will save you. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. <clears throat> Father, we thank you for the church. Wherever the church is. Amen. We commit them into your hands also. Amen. We ask for your grace. Amen. We ask for your mercy. Amen. The gate of hell shall not prevail Jesus name. against the church. Jesus this is your word. Amen. So the church on the earth, wherever the church can be found, Amen. in Hamburg, in Deutschland, wherever, Lord, I pray, as we lift up our hands, we pray, oh God, heal the sick, protect the oppressed, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Above all, we commit those. I was so shy when you know. Let me sorry when I found someone. What so? What so? What so? Now what close? Say I mean you know. I want you know. I'm going to pony you up. I'm pony you now. So we're all right. 
Calvary My crown Arches of woe 